Wait, no, I found... Okay, so this is... Hello, Starshines! Welcome back to another vlog. This week we need to be super productive because last week we got nothing done. <laughs> Just finished last week's spread and we're starting a new planner week. Not a whole lot going on this week, but it is Valentine's Day, so we'll try and do something fun for that. Last week I was really sick and I'm still fighting it if you can't hear it in my voice, but I kind of gave myself a little bit of a break last week. Way longer than I wanted to, but this week we're going to try and get back on track with consistency and posting every day. I was still able to post my vlog though, so that's good. I'm gonna try and do a long form video this week as well, but I have so much content to catch up on that I didn't do last week, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to get to that again. And this looks really bad to me, so I'm letting this be a lesson that there is a value to batch creating content ahead of time. I never like to do it, but in case this ever happens again, I think it'll be a good idea to get in the habit of that. But I've got a lot of work to do, so let's start this timer and get to work. I was really craving like Thanksgiving food last night so that's what I made and then I turned the leftovers into like a little casserole so that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. I'm gonna watch a little YouTube while I have lunch. There's so many new vlogs uploaded today. <laughs> what do I choose? I just finished up all of my posts that I meant to do last week. Tomorrow I'm hoping to do the posts for this week that I want to put on Lemonade and then that'll leave me the rest of the week to focus on editing my vlog and filming and doing some short form content. We're off to a great start this week. I'm sorry I haven't done a Genshin video in a while, guys, but I'm really struggling to figure out when I can fit it into my schedule to make a long-form gameplay video every week. I've just been super busy, and it's hard to juggle making vlogs and shorts and all that other stuff and all my Lemonade posts. I'm hoping I will get the hang of it and find the time to do some gameplay videos every week as well because I love making them and I know you guys love putting them on while you work or while you also play Genshin or while you study so I'm gonna try and fit that into my weekly schedule. But let me know if you guys have been enjoying the Lantern Rite Festival so far. I've already completed all of the quests and challenges and I've gotten all of the rewards. That would have been something that I would have liked to have done a long gameplay video of, but I wound up just resting on the couch while I was sick and playing the Lantern Rite Festival the whole time, so... Yeah, let me know if you guys liked the quests and everything. I really enjoyed the mini games, the quests. I I kind of skimmed through them because I didn't want any spoilers or like, I don't know. I just, I was hoping to be caught up in the main story by the time I did the side quests, but oh well. I'm finally progressing through this Sumeru story arc in Genshin and tell me how I didn't know that you could do quests to count towards your daily commission rewards in Genshin. So I've been doing that instead of the daily commissions to get my quest rewards and my commission rewards. That's been helping me a lot to get through the story because it takes quite a long time and it takes a lot of commitment. But I'm really enjoying the story in Sumeru so far a lot.
自己追放をしたがやっていることは昔と変わらない譲りに向かいって。ball jointed doll and I've always wanted one of these so I'm super excited we're gonna open it okay we're switching over to voiceover because this unboxing was a little chaotic but as you can see everything was wrapped and packaged really well and the doll is just beautiful I love her pointy elf ears and this one came with the face makeup done for you but you can get these completely blank if you're super talented and you want to try and paint them yourself she she was not assembled completely so we had to do a little bit of assembly work. She did also come with extra feet that were flat because her regular feet are pointed for the heels that she came with. And obviously I had to choose the doll with the purple outfit. Now ball jointed dolls obviously have ball joints, meaning that pretty much their entire body is bendable and poseable. So that's what's really special about these dolls. I've always been really fascinated by them, especially years ago when I stumbled across them on Pinterest and the gorgeous, gorgeous photos that people take of their wonderful, unique dolls. And I have to say, I can totally understand the hobby of collecting these dolls because just the act of putting it together was so much fun and involved and of course I had to have my lovely little assistant my daughter help me with the unboxing and assembly of this doll because she absolutely loves ball jointed dolls and has one of her own and she was super excited to be a part of opening this new doll with me and it was a lot of work I don't know if I could have done it by myself anyways <laughs> there were a lot of different parts to her outfit but once we got on the dress and the socks it was kind of fun to figure out what went where next we did have to refer back to the photos from the listing to make sure we got it right I was really impressed with the little details all over the dress and the armbands I love the little gems and all the ribbons it was really nicely made which is to be expected because these dolls are really pricey and they're meant to last a lifetime and be showstoppers honestly this one in particular is from limited doll on Ollie Express. They were very kind enough to send this to me so that I could unbox and review it and take some nice photos of it and honestly I'm really impressed. They have a lot of great sales too which is nice and a huge variety of different looking dolls. Back when I first discovered ball jointed dolls years ago it was really hard to find them and order them. You had to go to very specific websites. It's nice to see such a huge selection on a big marketplace like AliExpress. I'll link this doll specifically in the description below but like I said they have a huge selection so don't hesitate to browse. Now I was really impressed with the wig and how soft and shiny it was. This one is a nice silver color and I just love the way it picks up the RGB lights. But before we could put the wig on we had to figure out how to attach the head properly and we actually had to look up a video on YouTube to figure out how to do this. Basically the top of the head pops off magnetically and then the hook from the neck goes in the bottom of the head and you have to turn it to lock it into place. It was super tough to pull so it feels very secure but it still allows the head to turn and move to be posed. Then you put the top of the head back on and now that the head is attached you have to remember to put this little rubber bald cap on her which helps to keep the wig in place and then very very carefully put the wig on which could take a couple of tries but now that she was all put together it really was amazing to see just how beautiful this doll really is and I could not wait to play with her hair honestly. Now these dolls do come in a lot of various different sizes so my daughter's BJD is actually a lot smaller and when we put them side by side we thought they looked so cute together like mother and daughter which was very fitting. Hers is actually based off of Alice in Wonderland I believe so the color scheme is a little different but I think it still works. They're just so pretty and I already want another one. Thank you to limited doll again. So here's the doll in some better lighting. I changed my background on my computer for a little backdrop for her.
I've even been able to get her to stand with more of like a wide stance, even in her high heels. I just can't stop taking pictures of her. She's so pretty. I love her ears and her makeup is so nice. And I don't know if you can tell, but she kind of has some light purple eyes. I can't decide how to do her hair, but it really looks good no matter what. I just kind of play with it depending on the posing. Here's a better look at her eyes. Target really quick so I can grab a couple of things for Valentine's Day. I'm really enjoying this perfume lately. Oh my god, it's actually kind of snowing outside again. Player 2 is really into Pokemon cards, so I might grab these to put in his card. I wish they had the new ones, though. These ones are the Obsidian Flames. Maybe I'll get this one. Wait, no, I found a purple one. <laughs> There's no way this will fit in a card, though. Oh, well. strawberries because I love chocolate covered strawberries and I still really have them. But I decided I'm going to make them this year. And the only kind of chocolate that they had left was this Ghirardelli Dark and I'm not mad about it. You already saw I got these for player two. I'm going to try and shove them in his little Valentine's Day card and sneak it into his backpack so he can stumble upon it when he gets to work tomorrow. But I don't know. We'll see how that goes. And then I couldn't resist these tulips. Look how pretty they are. They were like a dollar each and I don't know if you can tell but they're like a really soft purple color so I think these will look really pretty on my desk and that's it okay so this is the card in question it's kind of small I don't think the Pokemon cards are gonna fit inside so we might have to just get creative and I don't know tape them to the back or something <laughs> maybe wrap them to tape them to the back.
Now I just have to hope that I can hide this in his bag without him noticing so he can be surprised tomorrow. For the rest of my family, I wanted to make these cute little heart-shaped cards that you just like fold. So I'm gonna write a little note here and then I will secure it with a little heart sticker. Fantasy 14 is having their Valentine's Day event right now. It's super cute. Happy Valentine's Day, Star Shines. I've got a couple of little gifts. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning and I've already gotten these lovely gifts. I'm really excited. My player 2 just brought me this and this is from my daughter so I thought we could open them together. First, let's see what's in here. This looks hand painted. How pretty! I love this. Right where I can see it. We've got these beautiful flowers. I never used to be a flower girly, but I love getting flowers now. They just smell so good and they're so pretty. We'll definitely put these in a vase in a little bit. And then, player two also got me this purple Fitbit. Look how pretty it is! I'm so excited. I love the color so much. It's so cute. I can't wait to open this. It has an extra band, so that's nice. This must be the charger. USB. So shiny. I just love the soft lilac purple color so much. Let's see if I can put it on myself. I love it. It's so cute. I was just kind of complaining to myself the other day that I didn't have a Fitbit or a smartwatch or anything like that to track my heart rate while I'm exercising or anything. <laughs> Funny. Now I just gotta figure out how to turn it on. Oh, and I gotta get the app. Oops, I have it on upside down.
who also got me some gluten-free donuts. How sweet. This is kind of a special treat for me. Okay, we're gonna attempt to make our chocolate covered strawberries now. First, we gotta wash them. Okay, we're gonna let these soak and I'm going to melt the chocolate. I don't have a microwave, so we have to try and double boil them. I also don't really have a good bowl for this, so I hope this works. I turned the heat way down low. I think you're supposed to have the steam really heat the bowl, but it is working. Strawberries are drying. I'm going to prepare some parchment paper to let them cool off on after I dip them. Oh my god, this looks so good, you guys. So smooth. And they were all out of sprinkles, like little heart sprinkles at Target. I was hoping to get some Valentine's ones, but I do have these red sugar sprinkles. Okay, here goes nothing. can't really see the sprinkles like I was hoping, but I think they still look pretty good. Not bad for a first attempt. And I was worried it wasn't going to be enough chocolate, but it was actually kind of a perfect amount. So there was just enough. They're all good and covered. Now I'm just going to put them in the fridge and chill them for a little bit. I'm gonna leave these out so they're not too cold to bite into later, and I'm hoping to maybe watch a movie or a cute little anime with player two later tonight and eat these. That's the plan.